cue balls. Welcome to the house of pain. Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron. And for today's video, we're headed to the world of Last Epoch with my new series, Aaron's Boot Camp. And what do I have for you today? Loot filter creation. My goal is by the end of this video, even if you've never played Last Epoch before, you can log into the game and make your own custom loot filter that is tailored to your gaming experience. Now, I know a lot of people just export in loot filters for the guide they are following, and you could totally do that, but I don't recommend it. Put in your colors, put in your affixes, put in your style to the game. It really does make a difference. Now, just gonna put this out there really quickly. Lots and lots of different gamers and content creators create loot filters differently. This is just the way I like to do it. I'm not saying it's the best. I'm just saying my 1500 hours into Last Epoch, this is the loot filter that I create that works very well for me. And I'm gonna share that with you. It's also very easy to put together. Okay. With all of that out of the way, let's make a end game loot filter. Hit escape, settings, and we're going to go to manage loot filters under gameplay and click create new loot filter, create new filter. Okay, now we're starting. We're going to do Aaron's boot camp. And this is a necromancer, so we'll put a skull, and then for the skeletons, we'll put white, and bam, our loot filter is created. Now, I should have mentioned this at the very beginning. Again, Level one, brand new player, end game. This loot filter will work for all of them. It's just all about the different bases that you select. So now that we have created our loot filter, we need to add rules to it. And you're gonna click add rule. And the first thing you're gonna do is hide. You're just gonna click hide and you're gonna add. What this does is hide all items. Now, if, if we just stopped right here, and you went and played, the only thing that would drop would be potions, gold, and crafting material. Literally nothing else, okay? We have now hidden every single item in the game. So the idea of this loot filter is really simple. We hide everything and then we put rules on top of it that override it that then show us what we want to see. Easy, right? So we're gonna go add rule. Now we are going to recolor. I use this kind of, it's the action RPG orange right here because you never really see that color in game. Hit confirm, and then we are going to add a condition. Item type. And now we're just going to select the items we want to see. Now for this build, I'm using the Dragonflame Edict Staff. So I don't need any one-handed weapons. I don't need any two-handed weapons, and we don't need any offhand. So we're going to start by focusing on the armor, okay? I know loot filters get overwhelming for people. Just follow me, okay? You're gonna see how easy this is. Okay, just within the first couple rules. So we're gonna go armor. We are gonna click helmet. We're gonna confirm. And then right here under subclass, we are gonna click on that. We are gonna click on acolyte. And then we're gonna pick what skulls, what helmet we actually want to see. Okay, so on here, we want adaptive spell damage for minions and we want increased minion damage all right so for helmets the only ones that we will see dropped on the ground is increased minion damage and adaptive spell adaptive damage for minions okay now let's say we were doing a level one loot filter well instead of clicking these i would click this this and this other than that it's the exact same loot filter. You're just selecting different bases, but this is an end game we are creating right now. And we confirm. So for this rule under helmets, we have selected the helmet. We have selected the two type. Now we need to add the conditions. So on here, we're going to click affix and we're going to pick what affixes we want to see. Well, I want to see vitality. I want to see health. And we'll do cooldown. Cooldown recovery. Okay. Boom. And add. So now, every time one of those helmets drop and have at least one of those affixes on it, it will show on the ground as orange. Okay. We're going to continue. Okay. Watch, I'm going to do this one a little faster, then we'll slow down again. Body armor, acolyte, 
I want endurance and mana regen. And what I'm looking for is vitality, health, and intelligence. Okay. Done. Free color, orange, add condition, item type, belt, type of belt, add, affix, minion damage, minion health, mana, health, all three. Click. This one I want two of them to show up. So instead of just one of those six affixes, I want two of those six affixes. Click. Belt added. Recolor. Orange. Item type. Club boots. Boots we want to see. Fire resistance, ward, stun, cold. We want speed. We want vitality. We want health. And we'll put on intelligence. Again, I want to see two of them. Add. Recolor. Orange. Item type. Gloves. Type of gloves. Void. Endurance. Cast speed. And we'll take necrotic. On here, we want we'll take minion damage, minion life, health, and vitality. We'll take that and intelligence. Two. And we continue down the list. See how easy this is? I mean, if I was like really just going super speed, we'd be done already. All right. Amulets. All I want is the minion amulet. On here. Minions. Actually, put. You're getting it right. Ring. Minion ring. Which affixes for the minion ring? Let's take minion damage, minion health. Ring done. Now we are on relic. Acolyte. We want this one or that one. And this is where you can tailor it to yourself. You're not just copying my filter, right? You can put in your color. Obviously, I'm going super fast. So normally I would have like um, two skill affixes in here. I would do lots of research. I'd make sure I'm clicking the right ones. Like right now, I'm just blowing through it. So you can do a lot of different things with this system. But as you can see, this is extremely easy. I'm just taking all the basics. Okay. And I did we just go through all of them? Yes, yeah, so we just went through all of them. Okay. So don't need any one hand weapons, but let's just let's just throw a one handed weapon. So on here, I would take scepter. And I would want skeletal scepter. And I would want minion, melee and spell, and I would want cast speed, and I would want mana reduction. Okay, so there. Now we got a weapon and we got all of ours on here. So now again, any of these drop, they're going to show up as orange on the ground. But this is not all, okay? We're not even close. Well, pretty close. Now you want to show rarity. Okay, we want to see all set items, unique and exalted. Add. So now, because again, we hid everything, right? So we do want to see unique, set and exalted. And then for me, I want to show 
because I've been hunting item type for good idols. So show all idols. And that's where you could tailor it to what kind of idols you want to see. All right. And then I want to recolor and we'll pick a random color. We'll take this brown specific affixes I'm looking for. Okay, so I'll go into Acolyte. And now any item in the game that drops with Skeleton Mage damage. Um, Let's see. Summon Skeleton. Summon Wraith, summon Bone Golem. Level of Skeleton Mage. Level of Zombie. Okay. So now any item in the game that has those affixes, I will see. And the last rule I am going to put in is Hide. Rarity. Magic. Normal. Add. And then I'm going to pull this down to right there. So just in case a magic item drops, I guess normal doesn't even need to be on there, but just in case a magic item drops with two of the affixes or one of the affixes, I don't want to see it. I only want to see rare gear in up. And that's what this little this is what this little rule does. So we just made an end game loot filter in what, 10 minutes? And I probably could have done it in five minutes with only 14 rules. We just put that together and that would be it. We are good and we are ready to play forever. Now, just again, I just want to point this out, right? If this was a level one loot filter, okay? It would still totally function. All you would do is just have to change the base items. Because right, this ring drops at level 31. So I would uncheck this and I would click these. Or you can just click all. You could just click all, okay? It's all just about changing the base items. And other than that, it would still function perfectly well. Aaron's Boot Camp. How to make your own loot filter. I should have said how to make your own loot filter in five minutes. And then I should just would have banged it out. And then we could have put a timer in the right. But I just thought of that now. Do you have any questions? Does that help? Does it make sense? I know loot filters are scary because some of them have literally 75 rules. And people are like, these first 20... Rules are for my first 20 levels, and then they've got all these things and they're checking on and off. You could totally do that. The way I just built this filter will work for you for the entire game. Hopefully you were entertained or at least learned something. Aaron.